Hey everyone, welcome back to Alice's Kitchen. We are continuing with our Christmas series and today we are making something exciting. We are making Kexicos and we are going to top them off with a Christmas decoration. So in here, I've got half a cake that I've baked. You can use any flavor that you like. This is just a butter cake. And I've also got two tablespoons of frosting that I've put in there to make the crumbs come together. You can keep adding the frosting according to the requirement. I've got some candy melts here. It's just the white ones that I'm going to be using. I've got my molds. I've got two because I'm going to show you how to do it in two different ways. One is where we start off by molding the cake and then dipping it into the melted chocolate. And the other one is where we put the chocolate into the mold first. I've also got some green gel food coloring here and um, some red one. I'm going to use these for decorations. So to get started, we'll start off by using the mixer to just make this into crumbs. And the crumbs have to be sticky in order for us to mold. You don't have to use a mixer, you can use your hands. You can put the cake in a bag and use a rolling pin. I'm just going to be using a mixer because it's easy. So let's get started and let's have fun. We're just going to start off with our mixer. Just switch it on. And just by looking at the texture of the crumbs, you can see they're still not coming together. So that means I need to add my frosting. So I started off by two tablespoons. I'm going to add another two tablespoons and then I'll mix again. This is just butter frosting that I've made. So we mix again. As you can see now, it's now very soft and sticking together. So that's what we want. So that means we've put enough frosting and we've mixed it together well. It's very nice and sticky. So now we are done with our mixer and we are moving on to the next step. So first I'm gonna show you the one where you mold the cake first and then you dip it into the chocolate. So you just take your cake and then you want to put it into the mold. Just pressing down, making sure that it's filling all the corners. just press it down and then once you have filled that you will have to repeat the same process for all three you then take your stick and you just want to push it in about halfway in so there you go I've pushed in my stick and then you just press a bit more to make sure that the stick is in and once this is done I'm going to put this in the fridge to chill for 20 minutes and then when I take it out I'll be dipping it into the chocolate. In the meantime I'll also show you how to do the other one where you melt the chocolate first and then do the mold and then do the cake filling. Now for the second method I've got my candy melts in here. You can also use just white baking chocolate. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to melt them in the microwave, doing 30 seconds at a time and then stirring them. And then I'll stop when they are 75% melted and then I'll just stay until everything is melted. You can also do this on the stove top where you boil water and then let your heat proof bowl sit on top of the water, making sure the water doesn't touch the bowl and then you stay until it's melted. I'm just going to be using the microwave method. So now I'm going to melt and I'll show you once they're melted. So now I've got my chocolate and I am going to put it into the mold. I'll add a bit more. So what you want to do is just to make sure that you move it around. So I'll just use the back of the spoon. And just as I do this as well, just to make sure that chocolate doesn't go into where the stick goes and it closes, I'll just put the stick in and pull it out. So just like that. 
pull it out and I've got my paper towel I'm going to leave it. And once that's done, I'm going to put it in the freezer for about three to five minutes until it solidifies. I'm going to take my cake and fill it in. So you just press and make sure all the corners fill. Now I'll take my stick and just gently push it in halfway through. And then once my stick has gone in, I'll just press it in again to just make sure. So we put in our cake and we are just going to finish off by putting the layer of the melted chocolate. So I'm just going to use this scraper to just scrape off any excess and also just to clean up and I'll just go put it in the freezer for a few minutes so it can all get firm and once it comes out we can always clean up the edges using something sharp like if there's some chocolate that's stuck on there. You can use a sharp knife or something. And now the ones I put in the freezer, it's just the cakes are ready. So I'm just gonna take them out. So that's you press from the bottom and then you will push the stick in and then it comes up neatly like that. And then to dip it in the chocolate to make it easy, I've got a glass that I'm going to be using. So you can just use the water glass. So now I'll take it and then I'll dip it in like that, turn it around, making sure all of it is covered. So there's obviously going to be excess that you will need to tip out. So when it's covered, you just take it out and then you let any excess drip off and then you sit it on the mat like that to dry. So our Kexicos are out, as you can see, they're very beautiful. And because we want to give them that Christmassy look, I'm just going to drip them with a bit of green and red. So just do this is just an idea that if you've got red and green you can try and go for the Christmas look like what I've done here so there you go you've got your Kexicos two different ways of making them hope you enjoyed the video see you soon